Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 638. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 636 to 639. Hey, our goal in this one is just to see how to add uh, two axes down here, the horizontal axes 1, 2. Uh, I did this in my one of my statistics video where we have Z's and X's and there's equivalent values for each point on the chart. Now I don't have a really elegant <laughs> method of doing this but uh, let's see how to do this. First we need to create our um, height uh, area chart for statistics. This could work for any type of chart though. I'm going to do uh, area right there and I'm going to point to the edge when I see that diagonal pointing arrow I'm going to hold shift and click in to change it proportionally. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to delete this. Um, let's just go right in here. That's not even the right uh, axis but let's go in and look uh, at the design. Select data. I want to add and I'm going to highlight, uh, click right there, and I'm going to add the same exact range a second time. They'll be sitting on top of each other. Then click OK. So now we have two of these. Now I'm going to click OK. These are still not right, but we'll fix those later. I want to click on the uh, whatever the top uh, series is and Control 1. And I want to say add a secondary. That way, we'll, when we go up and look at our axes, we'll still, it'll tell us either primary or secondary close. All right now, I want to go up to layout, and then my screen is very small, but in the axis group, axes group, click there, click there. Notice the horizontal axis; it shows that it's there. Uh, the secondary horizontal axis; it says none. But watch, oh, I can't. You can't see it. It's down here at the bottom. And I have to draw. Let's see if I can do this. Oh no, that's not going to help. Oh man. Well, down at the bottom, keep going down, it says more secondary horizontal axis. As soon as you do that, by just opening that more, you can see we have two axes there. I'm going to close this. Now we can go and uh, try and change this. We're going to decide because we're going to need to highlight this and this in the uh, change source. So go back up to design, select data, the height. I'm going to go over to edit. This is the category. And uh, whichever one you want, I'm going to click the X first. Control Shift down arrow, click OK. Now I'm going to click on this one, edit. I'm going to click on the Z, Control Shift down arrow to highlight it, click OK, click OK. Right now we have two, uh, an axis for our X and an axis for our Z. There, I don't know an automatic way to label this, but let's see if we can mess around with this. I'm going to point to the edge and hold Shift so I move it proportionally. I'm going to go up to Insert Ribbon. Uh, shapes. Again, I have my uh, screen squeezed down, and then I'm going to say maybe this. And I'm going to draw something right here. Right click Add Text or Edit Text. The top one is X, so I'm going to type X and Enter, 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 and then I'm going to type Z. And then I'm going to click, a, uh, actually, while I'm still in edit mode, maybe I can double click. It's not letting me. Control A. I'm going to change the, on the home ribbon to a black font. I'm going to hit Control B for bold. Now I'm going to click on the outside edge and Control 1 to format this or right click format. I'm going to say fill none, line color none. All right, and so there we have a uh, chart with uh, an axis for our X or whatever it might be, and an axis for our Z. Again, this could, these could be columns or whatever. 
the trick was just to add a s second, uh, exactly the same series or numbers here, and then just uh, edit to get the two axes down here. All right, we'll see you next trick.